Hello chaps, chapettes, and chapsticks. In this video, we are going to uh, learn how to plot a normal distribution with Python and Seaborn. Uh, it's going to be a very quick video. Um, so in order to get started, you can either generate your own random data, maybe you have your own data set in a CSV file. Um, if you do, wonderful news. If you don't, you can go to the link in the doobly-doo and you can download the data set that I'm going to be using, which is called data.csv. It is the data set of one-legged coconut salesman's sales across the week. Um, so yes, without further ado, let's just have a quick goosey-goosey gander at that. Well, look at that, there's some data there. Um, and then what we can do is we can start actually doing some coding. Now, uh, we are, need to import three modules for this. Actually, we don't even import three. We could really do with importing two, NumPy and Seaborn, because we're going to create the plot with Seaborn. Um, and Seaborn is built on top of a library called matplotlib. Now, we could use Seaborn to access the things that are in matplotlib, uh, but we could just import matplotlib. And if you've seen any of the other videos, some of the things we're going to do are going to be very, very familiar to you all. So we'll do, we'll do it that way. Uh, so let's go ahead and do the boring stuff, which is doing the import. So import numpy as mp, import seaborn as sns, import matplotlib.py plot as plt. So that doing the as bit there basically saves us the draconian measure of typing in numpy. Every time we need to access a method from numpy, we can just simply type in mp. So Let's save some data into a nice little variable, and we will say numpy. Um, and what can we do? Uh, we can normally, when I do these videos, I've done CSV files with open CSV files in a number of different ways. This time, we're going to do it using numpy. So here we go. We're going to do gen from uh, text, then pass in the name, the extra cheeky name of the file, pass in the delimiter, which in our case surprise surprise is going to be commas now i should point out comma separated uh, value files don't necessarily have to be separated by commas which is a bit weird you could have them separated by any number of characters so that's why we can specify the delimiter we've used uh first thing to do then is use sns seaborn and we'll just set some colors the standard colors uh da -da -da, color codes da -da -da -da, uh, da -da -da. yes we'll do that uh, and then we will do the sns dist plot and pass in data. And oh my god, that's nearly all we need to do. How fast was this? Ridiculously fast, I hear you say. Um, but what we have to now do is we have to actually display the data because we, we've plotted it, but we can't see it for two reasons. Number one, I haven't even saved the file yet. Number two, I haven't even run the file yet. And number three, I haven't even said when we've plotted it to actually show the file yet. If we were in something like a Jupyter Notebook, we could just simply have done this and it would have plotted it for us and we'd have been able to see it and it would have been wonderful. But we're not. We're in a normal file, so we need to do some stuff like, say, show me the show me the goods. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, for this, we're going to use the PLT methods, the matplotlib uh, methods. Uh, let's first set a title because we can set one of those say uh, what should we call this This is normally distributed data I've spelled distributed wrong there we go data data however you want to say it and then we can also set an X label X is the one that goes along the bottom X is a cross remember that little mnemonic great one uh, and what's going to be across the bottom well it's going to be the standard deviations and it's going to be from minus three to plus three for a standard uh, for a, uh, for a normal distribution. For this, what we're doing anyway, your, your typical standard distribution, normal distribution, standard dif distribution, whatever. And along the y, it will be the um, sales, oh, the salsa, the sales of one legged coconut sales, then. Excellent. And then finally, we can call the method plt.show like that. Give it a little save and then we'll give it a little run. Now, everyone who's seen my videos before knows this is the point when something goes catastrophically wrong and I've made some terrible error. I'm gonna, I, I know it's going to happen. We'll see what it is and we'll see how fast I can fix it because I'm not even confident that 
I've written perfect code this time. We know it always happens, so here we go. Three, two, one, bang. Oh, I told you. Absolutely. Oh, I knew it was going to happen. Uh, the error is gem from text. It shouldn't be gem from text. It should be gem from text. We don't want the, uh, the E in there. What an absolute clown. Let's run it again. Here we go. Come on. Three, two, one, bang. Whey! We have plotted the distribution. Look at that. We can see our one-legged coconut salesman. It's their sales is normally distributed. Well, that's pretty interesting. We've got our standard deviations. And I told a lie. We've actually gone from minus four to four, which is quite interesting. I've not actually noticed that. Uh, but yes, we can do that. If you wanted to save it, you could click the little save button down here. Or you could programmatically save it if you wanted to. Uh, and I've, I've done that in previous videos. So see previous videos to know how to save that programmatically. Um, so if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll try and answer them as soon as possible. If you want me to do any other videos, leave them down in the comments. I'll try and answer those as soon as possible. Uh, if you leave a like on this video, more people will see it. If you want to subscribe, you'll see more videos like this. You know this, you're on YouTube. You are from the 21st century, I imagine. And so, yes, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in another video. Ta-ta for now.